Thank the people of Leicester for, for being here today to, to welcome me. I'm here in Leicester Town Square. Uh, I've been met by some wonderful people over there and um, I've had a really good reception. I've done 320 miles so far, only 130 I think it is, and then I'm at, I reach Parliament. This is what it's all about. The, the 2012 social, uh, Health and Social Care Act basically took, took away the responsibility for the Minister of Health for mine and yours, treatment, diagnosis and, and care. We want to, I want to, we want to reinstate the original 1946 Act so that that will stop privatisation um, because the 2012 Act basically opens it up to privatisation. I read this not very long ago and um, I was just horrified and this is what spurred me on to, to do this walk. Um, but a lot of people just didn't know this happened. The government at the time, um, they, they didn't mention it in their manifesto. So it was, it was real cloak and dagger stuff. Um, what can we do? Well, the, the online petition, um, which if you go to jamesnhswalk.org and please sign the petition, that would be great. This is what it's all about. Um, and, well, this is, this, the reason why I'm doing this walk is to show that you know just being on the internet and, uh, and and doing that that that's got its place but it's not everything people need to realize that somebody really cares so much that they're willing to walk it's going to be 450 miles you know i don't mind because it's for a good cause i just hope that you know we that things improve in the nhs and that uh, you know that, uh, that we don't lose a lot of staff, and that uh, you know things things get better for people there. Oh, I've got I've got two beautiful boys who are delivered through the uh, very good uh, personnel uh, w working for the NHS, um, and you know it's always there when I need it, and it's helped my family um, and helped keep us safe, and probably saved our lives a few times as well. Um, and it'd be a shame if it fell into the, the wrong hands. And I'm here to support James because James is part of the solution about how we all work together in radical ways to get the world to wake up to what's going on and saving the NHS is central to this because there are lots of things underlying the NHS that um, they're like a microcosm, if I can call uh, NHS a microcosm because it's obviously absolutely huge in UK terms and global terms but it's a microcosm for what's happening all over the world. There have been difficult days, and the days where it's absolutely poured down on me and uh, there are days where my legs have sort of felt, felt a bit weak but I've had overwhelming support from people and help. Uh, like today somebody's offered to, um, to, to put me up, you yourself have offered uh, the accommodation today, it's, it's wonderful. Uh, I'm probably going to get a pint bought me later as well. And that, that puts strength in my legs because uh, people are really concerned about the NHS and want to keep it free at the point of need and stop the privatisation that's happening. The NHS is very important, say, for people who are not wealthy. So universal aims of national health service is something we need to preserve and save. And if we you know, continue down this route, we'll have, it's just like America, where is it, is it 40 or 50 million people don't have any health? treatment because they can't afford to buy. And this is what I'm, I'm campaigning about. Really, yeah. The NHS is uh, an integral part of civilised Britain and we need to hold on to it. And these symbolic actions are really important and very powerful in conveying that love that people have for the NHS. This is our thing. And one more thing can I say. The Second World War, when everyone returned from the Second World War and all the women who worked really hard to keep to keep the cause going and um, the children that, that, that suffered um, their, their dad's dying what they demanded was an NHS and Winston Churchill lost the vote because he didn't back the NHS it's our it's it's, it's our birthright it's, it's what we should be patriotic about and proud of and if we dismantle the NHS now then we're disrespecting the fallen of the second world war I honestly believe that I would like everybody who hears about this march to urgently contact their Member of Parliament and tell them that they agree with all the things that James is marching for.